All right, what is the connection between John MacArthur and Freemasonry? Well, there are definitely some connections. I'm going to show you this here. Let's watch this responsibility to the church part one, another little thing. Some things I did not pick up on and doing more research, we found out some very shocking things about this liar here, Miss John MacArthur. Watch this little part here. I have loved the church really all my life. Okay, now I'll just let's say this real quick here again. He's switching constantly throughout this study here. He switches between the church being the people and the church being where you go. Here he's going to be talking about here's going to talk about where you go. Okay? Which is this is unscriptural. But listen to what he says. Since a little child it is where my parents first took me right after I was born. It's where I I first heard the Word of God preached by my grandfather and my father. Okay. He first heard the Word of God preached by his grandfather. It's very, very important. And his father, too, by the way. Um, turns out that both of them are Freemasons. <clears throat> you can read this article here. I'm not going to get into this whole thing. Uh, <clears throat> I read a lot of this, but... Um, I just have a terrible time reading things online, so I'm going to be printing this out and reading it more in detail. Um, but uh, he's definitely got some Masonic tie-ins here. You go down through here. Um, <clears throat> his grandfather was Reverend Thomas Fraser Fullerton, was his grandfather's name. Okay. And right here you have Thomas Fraser Fullerton, past Grand Master. So he was a Freemason, his grandfather, and he was also the pastor of uh, St. James Presbyterian Church in Charlottetown, Prince Edward Island. So his granddaddy was a past Grand Master in the Masonic Lodge. You go down through here, and uh, John MacArthur's father, Reverend Jack MacArthur, was the pastor and close friend of 33rd degree Mason Roy Rogers. Dale Evans, Roy Rogers' wife, uh, who was a member of the Eastern Star. Roy Rogers was reportedly converted and baptized by Jack MacArthur. Huh. And there's Roy Rogers' tombstone. His real name was Leonard Franklin Sly. Uh, it was 33rd degree Mason. So, kind of interesting. You know, that John MacArthur, oh, you know, I was taken to church by my parents and I went to my grandfather and heard him preach and everything. Yes, his grandfather that was a past grand master. pretty bad. Um, the uh, other thing I want to show you here real quickly is this thing, this book. Uh, it's called Slave by Dr. John MacArthur. This is very important, very telling. And um, you're going to see a Masonic symbol put in this thing. All right, But notice when we watch this, um, he's using mind control tactics of mainstream media. He uses extremely dramatic like heavy metal type music or really dramatic, you know, really heavy drum beats and things. That's mind control. The screen is constantly shifting and doing this kind of thing. Plus he's also using harmonics. Harmonics is in mind control. They, it triggers subliminal things in your mind. It's in the background. You, you have the music track and then you'll have these sounds that like that it's it causes confusion in the mind and they're able to get subliminal type of stuff in it's it's really bad and I'm going to show you this thing but I'm giving you a free war or a, a warning beforehand before we watch this um, this guy's not a Christian this guy is a Satanist he is definitely a minister of Satan again I've seen in the comments people say you shouldn't attack your brother in Christ I'm not I'm attacking a false prophet all right but listen to what he says in this video too. It's very important. Let's watch this. Exploring the New Testament, I uncovered a distortion of truth when it Okay. Reading the New Testament, he discovered a distortion of truth. So for well over 300 years before he showed up, people have had distorted truth in the King James Bible before God revealed it to 
Dr. John MacArthur. Distortion of truth in your New Testament. Let's continue. Came to the word doulos. Doulos means slave. When I began to unfold the 150 times that word is used, I realized that my understanding of the New Testament had exploded in a whole new way. Okay. So you didn't have this revelation. You couldn't understand the fact that you're bought with a price in the King James Bible. You, that's I know it says that, but you don't really understand that. I mean, you, you have to do what's, what this is called. is It's called uniform translation, where you take a Greek word, which he says doulos here, you take that and you translate it the same way every single time. That's not proper translation. Translation of words is determined by the context in the verse in which it appears. You know, but oh, not according to John MacArthur. He just, God's revealed this amazing thing to him. And, and it's just, and, and you're going to hear him say that there's actually a conspiracy with Bible translations that they've falsely translated it for all these years. And it should always be translated slave. Listen to what he says. And notice the really dark, twisted, it almost looks like blood splattering on the screen different times in this thing. Watch it. The book Slave is about the hidden word that unlocks the believer's identity. Okay, let me just say that real quick too. This is Masonic ritual. The hidden word, Maha Bone, is what it is in masonry. The uh, third degree, the master mason degree thing. And they, they tell the, the initiate the hidden word, the hidden name of God, unlocks the mysteries. He's a mason. Let's continue. Virtually all English translations ignore the fact that doulos only means slave and translated servant. There had been a conspiracy to cover up a truth that is so essential to the New Testament. So there has been a conspiracy to cover up the truth. Sanctify them through thy truth, thy word is truth. Oh, well, not according to John MacArthur. According to John MacArthur, there has been a conspiracy to cover up the truth. So people haven't had the word of God until John MacArthur showed up and revealed the hidden word of masonry. Oh, I mean uh, Christianity. Excuse me. He's a Satanist. You understand that? He's a minister of Satan. Understand. People need to rewire your brain here. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 11 that Satan's ministers appear as the ministers of righteousness. They don't appear like Marilyn Manson or Anton LaVey or somebody like this, Michael Aquino. Those people are showmen. They're just fleshly, wicked people. Ministers, true ministers of Satan, show up like this man right here. This guy's textbook example of a minister of Satan. But watch when they show the word slave coming up. Watch this. That without it, we misunderstand our relationship to Jesus Christ. The servant does a job. The slave is owned. When you understand the concept of the Christian as a slave, then you understand what it means to be bought out of the slave market of sin. And you can't get that from the King James Bible? Your life is not your own. You're bought with a price. <clears throat> you easily get that out of the King James Bible. But he's saying you can't understand your relationship to Christ unless you have his book. Let's continue. As believers, we are slaves who... Be okay. Let's back it up just a minute there. As believers, we are slaves. Okay. Notice the interesting way that the letter A is depicted there. What do we have? Well, in masonry, you have the one of their symbols is the back, the great seal on the back of the dollar bill. You have the pyramid with the different levels of masonry. I think I forget how many levels there are. There, 1776 is the date there when uh, the Order of the Illuminati was founded, <clears throat> and he was shaped as a Novus Ordo Seclorum, announcing the conception of the new order, the new secular order, the new order without God is what the Latin is there on the back of the dollar bill. 
but the A with a dot, all seeing eye. Notice it doesn't have the E, the line like the E there, like it should. And now watch the rest of the words as he goes through this. You'll see they're all connected nicely with lines and things, but they, they make a special thing about the A with the all seeing eye. Watch this. So we are slaves who become friends, friends who become sons, sons who become joint heirs. Just changes everything that I perceive about the Christian life. Jesus is Lord, and I am his slave. Jesus is Lord, and I am his slave. Yeah. He's a Satanist. Understand that. If you're following this man's ministry, you're following the ministry of a Satanist, of a devil worshiper, tied into Freemasonry. I would suggest you get away from John MacArthur. That's why this man's come out and said that, uh, yeah, I think that you know, people can take the mark of the beast and things. You see, Satan raises up these ministers of Satan and they will say a lot of good things and it'll go for a long time and they, they'll have nice little churches and things like this. But <clears throat> the deception is going to come after the rapture, catching away of the bride of Christ. And you're going to have a lot of these guys that are left behind and they're going to say, it wasn't the rapture, we're here, I'm pre-trim. You know, and he is pre-trim. At least he says so. But, you know, he teaches a preacher of rapture is what I'm saying. Um, <clears throat> and he's going to be left behind. He's going to say, I'm here. You know, that wasn't the rapture. It was just a bunch of crazy Bible-believing Christians, you know, King James only types or whatever. You know, it's it just, that wasn't the rapture. Don't worry. We're all here. Here's Rick Warren, our buddy. Here's, you know, the Pope. Yeah. That's what's coming. Not a saved man. 